Hey there, fellows. Now, you remember all of those experiments that we did with wheels, right? We welded rims together, made Vossen knockoffs, some kind of sporty design. We tried a bunch of stuff, including a single lug nut conversion even. And so today, we've decided to get creative yet again. We got our hands on a set of Conrads from a big vehicle. In the meantime, we don't have a small car that we can install these into. But throwing them away would be a shame, wouldn't it? We do have a solution, though. Why don't we... Instead of your normal sort of spokes like we did before, out of boxed steel and rebar and stuff, why not take these rods and, uh, you know, make some concave wheels that instead of spokes sport a set of lovely and super durable, by the way, capable of withstanding considerable stress. Conrad's. They did used to be fitted to a diesel motor, after all. Right, I say we go ahead and slap something together, throw it onto a car, have a look and admire how awesome it looks. Alright, let's do this. Before we jump into it, I want to give a quick thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Raid Shadow Legends is a free turn-based RPG that I find to be an extremely fun way to pass the time. It's a fun game where you can collect the champions from 13 different factions. Barbarians, orcs, elves, demons, skinwalkers, and more. Check out how detailed they look. You can equip your heroes in order to upgrade their skills. There's plenty of cool shields, boots, and weapons. You can get new stuff by completing missions, battling, opening new locations, or at the market. There's also a new bazaar, where you can load up on high-value items with the gold bars you win in Tag Arena. And they just extended the daily login rewards up to 270 days, with free champions available just for logging in. Make sure you're quick, as using my link in the description, every new player will get you an exclusive welcome pack that contains 100,000 silver, one energy refill, 10 mystery shards, and a free champion, Slasher. Look at this champion that they're giving you for free. You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. How to make a wheel using Conrad's for spokes. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, fellows, check out what an awesome wheel we've got here. It's quite an original piece. With the Conrads. We did have to shorten them a bit, of course, but it's all good. Otherwise, you've got both ends of the Conrad in there. We've carefully slipped all of the wheel nuts through these holes. You can easily get a socket in there for you to be able to tighten the wheel down with no problem. It even works as sort of a guide to keep you from cross-threading the lug nut. It's all looking very good. 
You've got the Japanese Steely, Japanese Conrads, plus the car itself is decidedly Japanese. Hey, what can you do? This entire set is of Japanese origin. Yeah, this is pretty sick. Did you balance it? Or were you too scared? Oh, the cone? Yeah, it might not have fit, you're right. Anyway, we've put together the wheel. It looks very authentic. It's a nice looking piece. And now what do we do? Well, naturally, now it's onto the testing phase. Something tells me that it's going to be pretty much impossible to break this kind of wheel. I mean, let's be real here. It is being held together by a bunch of weld points. We've also given it this deep dish effect. Now there's something to be concerned about, yeah? If, for example, you were to get up to high speed and hit a tram line, now that'd be tons of fun. That's definitely going to bend it. However, the centerpiece should be okay, I reckon. Right, enough talk. Let's head out for a drive. Let me just drive around for a bit and see how this wheel behaves. I am pretty curious. We've made a ton of these before, and they've always seemed to work pretty well. Never got any wobbles or vibrations or anything else like that. I expect everything to be okay this time as well. I guess we're about to find out. It's all good as if I'm driving on factory alloys. This one was made from a steely though, which is quite a nice thing. It's pretty legit. Nice. Zero complaints on my part. We've really got this wheel fabrication thing down at this point. Right, fellas, so I've just driven around on this epic wheel. We did a pretty good job with this one. No wobbles, no shaking or anything. The car just drives straight without any adverse effects. Just as you'd expect. And it looks wonderful. To all the wheel manufacturers out there, you guys take notice and make this design a reality. Am I right? I guarantee you people will buy rims with this sort of design. I'm sure you can do all of the R&D to make a Conrad-like design work. This should be a big hit. I'd say we're looking at a 107% success rate. It's all looking very good. It looks freaking epic. It drives straight. Good stuff. Make it happen. Of course it'll take a bit of testing to nail it. And you'll have to do it on roads. Similar to those we have next to our headquarters, actually. <laughs> In our case, the wheel held up nicely, so anyway, that's all I have for you fellas. Watch us, subscribe to the channel, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.